right. So we have Rob Beckley yeah. from Pillar. So we have our sixth album coming out, not including EPs. Sixth record, yeah, not counting EPs. Um, pretty, pretty crazy to think that that this is our sixth record. Um, but yeah, counting EPs and all that stuff, I don't even know. So I just keep track by eras and periods of six records. Yeah, and normally it's you and Noah writing a lot of the songs, but for yeah. this album, what would you, you guys do for this album? Uh, for the most part, it was still Noah and I. Um, but I did, we both kind of been working just with other people. Like, when you, you get this far into a career, we felt like, if we if we go and, and just do things the way we've always done, we're gonna get the same product. And we realized that at this point in our career, we needed to do things different. Uh, so we we actually branched out, started writing with some other people, um, close friends of ours, um, as well as people that we actually never met. We just started writing, um, and and some amazing things started coming out. And we took ten of the best songs I feel like that we've ever you know compiled. Um, we did. We do have a cover of "Shine" by Collective Soul that we did, so we we didn't really have anything to do with that one. But, um, but just still, even compiling songs for a record, it's like it's a lot of work. It's a lot of like just I guess creative strain on yourself. Um, and this, these ten songs we put together are gonna turn some heads. Uh, the record is called Confession. Yes, Confessions. Confessions plural. with an S. And where did that name come from? Uh, it actually spawned from an idea that I had uh, just going to church. We we did this series. It was called My Secret, and like during this series, what it what it did was just challenge people to um, to reveal what it was that they were holding inside, whatever it may be. Um, you know, one one guy jokingly said that his wife. Um, revealed to him that she was afraid that it, if he found out that she shaved the top of her feet that he wouldn't love her anymore like it was some you know just we feel like that's goofy but if you're carrying that stuff around it you know it can build up all the way to um couples in our life group in my personal life group just um confessing to having an abortion um uh, affairs pornography addictions just things that were like unbelievably like um big as far as burdens go and when you start carrying that stuff around you begin to really like just get consumed with guilt um and remorse and, and you really spend so much time consumed with the secret and the, and the um just covering everything up that there's no time left for god so we went out with uh, i took the concept you know just from church not really the church came with the concept it's pretty biblical but like just the idea at church that we went through and uh we took a confession booth out on this tour um and we called it the Confessions Tour. And at the end of it, it made such an impact on me that I wanted to call our record Confessions. And from the booth, we actually got just index cards, people writing out their, their confession. There's two kinds of confessions. Um, the, the confession, the confessing of sin, um, obviously, that, that's the, the big one. First John 1 John 1.9, if we conf confess our sins, God is righteous and just, will cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Um, and then the confessing of just the burdens. Um, the junk in our lives, the things that we try to hide from people that maybe, maybe we were abused as a child. Um, we got a lot of those of girls that, that were abused when they were young, um, physically or sexually, and it just really like they were carrying that darkness around with them. So letting, finding a place that they could get rid of, of that and they could just put it in there. And we took that box. It was locked. It had a big lock on it. Um, we prayed for those, those people. And actually, we're making a book. The first single is called Secrets and Regrets. And we're making a book called Secrets and Regrets. Oh, it's so genius. <laughs> um, and I've actually partnered with the American Bible Society so that we can make these books free. Um, we want to give them out there to people because what what I've, what really spawned the the like this the passion for this record was just how much hurt there is out there, how much just stuff we're dragging around behind us. And we want people to know that they're not alone, that there are other people going through this. And if we can just start the confession, we made these physical con confessions on paper. Now it's like, now let's make a verbal confession to our brothers and sisters. Let's take it one step further and seeking out accountability and starting a healing process. Um, and that's what hopefully with this book, we can kind of get that into people's hands and they can uh, um, really see that there's these confessions, there's stories from us, confessions from us, 
pictures, um, scripture. There's things that they can engage them where they are. Um, that was the whole, I guess, vibe of the whole confession thing is let's meet kids where they are and, and help them in a healing process. So are there any confessions from you or other members of the band that you feel may help other people <coughs> in their recovery paths? Um, I hope so. One of the things that, um, that I've written about is is just bitterness towards the church. Um, you know, it's hard to love God if you don't love his body. Um, or it's hard to say you love God if you don't love his body. I'll say that. I went through an era where we were doing a lot of this mainstream stuff and we were doing the, you know, MTV and playing mainstream shows and doing a lot of that stuff where Christians would wait outside to come tell me how wrong I was and how evil what I was doing and how I was going to hell for fellowshipping with non-believers. And you, like, I can't even begin to describe how mean Christians were. And I reached a point where I was just like, I don't really know if I even want to be a part of this. It's like it's weird because I can I can follow God into a into a, this club and go play with a mainstream band and everybody respects me for who I am and nobody pressures me into anything because I, they believe that I believe what I'm what I say I believe and but then when I leave I have somebody that calls himself a Christian that just starts killing me and so I, I hit this point where I was really bitter towards the church and I didn't want to even be around Christians and. Um, the thing that really, like, I guess did it for me was I was gone on tour. My my grass was, like, out of control. Um, and I, one thing, I, I love to do my own yard and everything. So um, I, I was talking to my wife, and she said that uh, my pastor was over there mowing my yard. And it just, you know, it hit me. We just started going to this church. Um, the pastor was over at my house mowing my grass. And it just hit me, you know, like not everybody's like that. Like there's servants out there. Um, and it, it, digging into this church now for about five years, I just, you know, it's completely just changed my my view. Like I love, I love the church. I love God. I love God's people. Um, and I understand there's just a few misguided people out there. Um, unfortunately, they just they're the boisterous ones that are brave enough to come tell you something but um for you know there's a lot of supporters and encouragers out there too and we really appreciate everybody and some now you know i guess your your years bring wisdom and now i can take those things that those negative things people say and i can find some um constructive criticism criticism in those and and apply it to my life yeah, well, we here at God, we really love and appreciate your music and your messages. So thank you so much for, for talking no, with us. No so problem. September? September 22nd, uh, the, new, the new Pillar record. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank really you. For, we had a, we're having a good time out here, and thank you guys for having us. Appreciate yeah. it.